is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms, and check this monstrous beauty out. This is the biggest power pack I've ever reviewed here on the channel. I'm in the new studio. We're not scheduled to have our, the, I'm not scheduled to have the time to hook up the power for some time to come. I've got a trench 300 plus feet and I just don't have the time to do it on the weekends. I've been busy assembling this fortress of awesome. And so in the meantime, I've been using a variety, mostly electric power, mostly small battery packs like this. This one here is like off-grid solution 101. I mean, it's incredible how much juice this thing can put out and for how long. The idea behind this new unit here, and I'll take it out of the box in a second, is that you can take this thing out of the box and you can stack it. You can put additional batteries on it so it acts as the MPPT solar controller. You hook a bunch of solar panels to it and you're able to bring in and output power to keep your cabin going. And I mean, this studio is a lot like many of the tiny homes you see people build. It's really popular right now for people to buy uh, you know, cabins or uh, sheds, let's be honest, and turn them into homes, tiny homes. So for power requirements here at this place, this would work beautifully. The only reason that I'm not going 100% solar on this right now is that the, it's so far up against the forest where the sunlight is, I don't get many hours of sun in this particular location. So I would have to add a considerable amount of solar paneling. However, that's the plan going down the road. This is going to be the cornerstone of said power system. I'll probably get two more batteries to go with it. And then I'll add, you know, probably close to 1500 watts of juice, get four hours of run or four hours of sun time. And I only operate up here two, three, maybe four hours a day. So I think I'll be okay, especially if I'm using the reserve and then wrapping it up and then the sun charges everything back up over the next day. So that's the idea. These things are great. I, I've, you know, I've always been a fan of them for emergencies, for when the power goes down. But having built this entire place over the last 90 days um, completely off grid without any power has really given me an appreciation for these things that I may never have gotten otherwise. The convenience of being able to do this can't be understated. All right, so we have a quick start guide. This is the model AP-SS-010 Max, the All Powers R3500. It's a beast, 97 pounds this thing came in at, and you're gonna see why. AC voltage, we have an input up to 15 amps at 110. We can also do 220 input, and that so this thing will charge pretty quick. Solar charge, it's 12 volts at 40 amp max. That puts it at 2,000 watts of solar panel that this can pull in. That's better than the system that I put together for myself down at the bottom there. And then we have some other stuff here. So battery info, it is uh, lithium iron phosphate, 3,500 cycles at 80% capacity. It has overcharge protection, overload protection, short circuit protection, over current protection. And it goes from charging temperatures, 32 degrees to 104. Discharge can be from four degrees to 104. Storage temperature, it would like it to be around freezing and, and uh, up to 104. And as far as uh, humidity, it, it pretty much runs the whole game. What I wanna see here is um, the output, because I think you guys are just gonna, gonna be blown away by this. So it does allow you to stack it. You can add an app to it. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on here. So it looks like about 16 pages all in English. I won't get into all that right now. I know you want to see what it looks like and, of course, what it can power. By the way, right now, the lights that are on for this video are being charged off of a solar-powered battery pack. So to give you an idea that I'm not preaching what I don't use, that would be incorrect. Okay, so we do have a really nice uh, regular PV solar input. Nice cord there, and then we do have our house current input. We have those two in the baggie here. This big beast, I'm probably gonna cut the box from around it because it's just that heavy. But let's see what we got here. Oh my, I gotta be a little Koya. Yeah, I'm cutting that out of there. That is huge. It is the size of a uh, cooler, I would say. All right, let's take a look at this thing. We have one, two, three, four regular 15, or it says 20 amp. 
grounded breakers there. And then in the center here for very RV like use, a 30 amp breaker here in the center. So you could hook that to an RV and run your entire RV off of this thing easily. Up on top, DC output. So we have the ability to run pretty high amperage stuff off of that. We have a cigarette lighter outlet here. A couple of uh, 12 volt, 10 amp cords coming in there. And then over here we have our USB charging places and we have several of those for USB-C's. We have two of those, so a lot. And then on top here, charging screen. Okay, um, you can see on the sides, big carrying handle here and another one on the other side, but on the back here, let's take a look at this. This is, we have a button here, we open it up and here's where we have our charging. So right here, 220 to 240 volts max would be, you could have 110 or 220 coming in. So I'm gonna be charging off of a 110 outlet. We'll charge that up. It does have a resettable breaker. 12 volt, 150 volt, 40 amp max. So here is our uh, ability to hook our uh, solar. That's our solar input. And then these are where we stack batteries, right? I'll show you a picture of what one of these batteries looks like, but yeah, we have the ability to add battery packs in line here and, uh, and give this thing pretty much unlimited. You'll notice something. This doesn't have a carrying handle because this isn't something that you're really gonna be carrying around. This is a permanent solution. This is something you're going to install in a cabin, in an RV camper, and you're going to hook it up. And if you want to stack a battery or two, or I think you can go up to like 18 of these monsters, I think it's 100 kilowatts max. I mean, it's an insane amount of energy you can store with one of these. And you're going to hook that up, and it's pretty permanent. So that's why, I mean, the heft here is not the electrical circuitry. It's lithium ion batteries. This is like half of the system that I built for myself a few years ago. And it costs a fraction of the amount. I paid almost five grand for the electronics and the battery packs and everything else. So that's pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and power it up. Hopefully it's got some juice in it. There we go. And 46% charge. We have Bluetooth and wireless capabilities here because it is app controlled. You can check the status of your charge as the day goes on. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this over in the corner off screen after this video is done. And I've got some solar that I have laying out. And so during the day while I'm gone, this thing will charge up. And then when I'm here and I need it, it's ready for me to go. Hopefully it, you know, it takes, I am only got uh, 400 watt panels that I'm gonna be putting up here right now. So it's not gonna take a huge charge really quickly, but it still should charge, so that's pretty awesome. All right, so 46% charge, zero watts in, zero watts out, 15 days of runtime remaining. So <laughs> hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. When we can measure the amount of battery capacity in days instead of hours or minutes, we're looking at a pretty serious piece of equipment. And then, of course, to power up the individual stuff, press and hold, and it comes to life. And then right, you can see that come on. Then we can also turn on this, which is our, our smaller inputs here or 12 volt here. So there we go. And so we have the ability to turn on all three at the same time, it looks like. So pretty cool. Well, I guess that'll do it. I don't really know what else to say. Power packs or power packs. I could plug some stuff in here and run it, but I mean, it works as a generator would. So if you understand how generators work, well, this is an electric one and it's a pretty serious looking one too. I'll see you next time, my friends.